Hi, I am sitting here with the amazing Stephen Schwartz, and um, thank you for one for allowing us to play with Defying Gravity and bring it into the BIV gospel sound. Um, I have been a big, huge fan for so long, um, and we were just talking about, you know, you're probably one of the few uh, composers that I know that gets to revisit your material. What is it that you, why do you get, why do you revisit it so much and what is it that you're looking for when you get a chance to go back to it? Well, um, you can always do it better mm -hmm. um, and also at different ages you bring a different mm -hmm. perspective to it. There was recently a Broadway revival of Pippin, right. you know, some 30 odd years after the original mm -hmm. and you know, my perspective mm -hmm. on that story is very different, mm -hmm. you know, now that I have children who are older than the character of Pippin right, than right. when I was the character of Pippin. Right, right. that's uh, amazing. And um, you, why would you uh, let us kind of play with this song? Like, what is it, you know, we have this gospel sound, we're Broadway performers, and we've done things with you in the past uh, and, and doing some things in the future. Um, why would you say, okay, here's my song, I want to see what you do. Well, I'm actually really excited about it. I mean, first of all, as you know, um, I love what you guys do you. musically, mm -hmm. the great voices, mm -hmm. and um, because they're also Broadway performers mm -hmm. as well as great singers, mm -hmm. they bring a real kind of passion and storytelling mm -hmm. to whatever is, is being sung. Mm -hmm. And I just feel Defying Gravity, in a way, is kind of a gospel song. It is. It's not musically gospel, mm -hmm. but its attitude is gospel, yes. and so I'm really excited to hear mm -hmm. what you guys do with it as you sort of bring the music mm -hmm. more into the gospel world. Yeah, That's what I, when I sat down to start to figure out a way in, I was like, well, this is already doing everything that I kind of wanted to do, and it's like, now I just have to find the gospel sound to right. go with it, but it already has that, like we said, that sense of vast kind of space and beauty and kind of majesty in its way, so it's just how do I find that? through uh, a gospel kind of... Well, I think gospel also, so many gospel songs have kind of two elements at mm -hmm. the same time. Mm -hmm. They have a sense of joy mm -hmm. and, and uplift, but they also have a sense of, in fact, defiance mm -hmm. and a recognition of the pain of life mm. that's being overcome. Wow. And so I think that in some ways defines mm -hmm. what gospel music mm -hmm. is emotionally, mm -hmm. and therefore it feels like a really good fit for Defying Gravity. Wow, that's well said. Um, and last question. Um, what are the things that inspire you or you get passionate about now in, in terms of looking at towards the future in terms of new music or new, what are the things when you, re you read or you see on TV or you're walking down the street, what are the things you go, oh, I want to write about that, that um, inspires you? I think there are a lot of really good stories out there mm -hmm. that um, I stumble across mm -hmm. where people mm -hmm. bring to me all the time mm -hmm. and there are actually too many stories mm -hmm. to tell as opposed to mm -hmm. looking around desperately trying to find an idea. Mm -hmm. um, it feels to me like there are so many ideas. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we live in uh, very turbulent and complicated times, mm -hmm. um, so socially mm -hmm. there is a lot to deal with mm -hmm. and then um, the way people interact and have relationships um, is always evolving and therefore mm -hmm. there's a lot to explore with that. Yeah. And last, just, so you just reminded me of something. Do, do you think that the artist has a role today in society? Do you feel like, or we should just be able to just be, or do you think it's a balance of many different things? I'd like to believe that the artist has a role mm -hmm. um, in society. I think um, a point of view that is basically coming from a position of empathy mm -hmm. is extremely important mm -hmm. right now mm -hmm. when we're dealing with a society that seems to be coming less and less mm -hmm. uh, empathetic. Uh, frankly, I don't know how powerful art is, mm -hmm. but um, I'd like to hope that it has some influence at least on, on some people. Thank you so much. Sure. Thank you.